Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about the time where, yeah, my bike got stolen. It happened yesterday and it really sucked. I didn't, uh, my mother didn't want to press charges, but hey, he's uh, more than a second offender. So, you know what? We had to, but anyways. So, it happened yesterday and it's kind of a, it, well, it didn't end well, just like all my other stories, at least for him. It's kind of a tame story on my side, but anyways. I usually borrow, let's get into this, I'm sorry. So I basically borrow my parents' phone when riding a bike uh, for the reason of music. I don't have a phone myself because the uh, last phone I had, the first day I got it, it was a piece of crap because it couldn't hold up a charge. And well, there's a reason why it was a piece of crap. I got it for free. And I, let's just say I got what I paid for. So yeah, <laughs> it, uh, and I'm not going to be a rat and sell it to somebody and say, oh, it works, dude, you should totally buy this. No, that's screwed up. But yeah, so basically, I borrowed my dad's phone for music, and I go out there to ride a bike. There's two bikes, a uh, crappy one, which hurts your butthole when you sit on it, and a good one when you actually use it, and it's very comfortable while you ride and you get a good workout. But no, I didn't get to use that because guess what? Judging from the bot, I'm sorry, I can't talk today. But judging from the title, yeah, it was stolen. Isn't that nice? So I started looking around with my little brother, and my mom comes up with the idea. Wow, somebody must have stole it. And I was like, oh come on, nobody around here is gonna steal anything. But it turns out when I left on the crap bike and let me tell you it was an unpleasant ride it's like riding on a seatless bike might as well piece of crap but anyways uh, while I was gone she filed a uh, report and uh, yeah basically she got people looking for a bike she described the bike and sure enough not far so they found a guy riding it over by a motel I think and yeah he got what he deserved I, I, uh, not really gonna make up a name for him because I didn't even see this guy. I mean, he was just let off the hook, and if they're gonna press charges, they're gonna see him later. I don't think so. I don't know. I just said that. <laughs> but anyways, so I was, um, I was a little bit surprised that it was taken. I mean, not really, judging by the area I lived in. But, yeah... And we went and got the bike. Of course, I was kind of ticked because, you know, middle of the night, you got to go get a bike because it was stolen from you. And like I said before, uh, when I previously recorded this, it failed. He uh, did this more than once. So we did press charges on him. And yeah, he didn't even apologize because, well, we didn't see him. And he didn't, he didn't seem like the person that would, so we just pressed charges. But yeah, we did get the bike back, thank goodness, because that was like, that's literally the only good bike around here. And I, I really don't feel like, let's just say I like to keep my butthole feeling good. This is awkward now, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to end off my story here. It's gone on for a little bit. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Peace.